The Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series is proudly presented by Varsity College and First National Bank. Onset of summer in Durban, there is just one thing for ocean lovers to do, and that's get out on the water and have some fun. The summer months offer long hot days and warm water, perfect for ocean enthusiasts to enjoy this amazing beach life in the city we call Etekweni. The Marine Surfski Series has been around since the early 90s as a fundraiser for the Marine Life Saving Club. Um, it's seen tremendous growth over the last uh, 20 or so years and it's grown into the biggest Surfski series of its kind in the world. Over the years the series has uh, grown in stature, uh, both in half and around our Surfski community and, and well as in the numbers that come and take part. The series has definitely got something for everyone with a four kilometre short course which is, which is very achievable to uh, most Surfski paddlers and then we have a long course which is eight kilometres of two laps and we have some of the best competitors in the world. It's in, it's in your eyes. The Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series has become a mainstay on Friday afternoons for paddling fanatics to get their fix before the weekend begins and race against some of the best in the world. It's in your eyes. Race 1 always attracts massive numbers and this year was no different as 300 paddlers were looking to shake off the holidays and get back in shape. We're down at Marine Surf Life Saving Club, first surf ski race of the 2015 season. It's the start of the Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series, and tonight we have an, a four and eight kilometer course for the FNB Surf Ski Challenge. The conditions look really cool. It's nice and flat with very little surf. We do have a little bit of wind. It's really cool to see so many people here out on the beach in Durban for an awesome uh, Friday evening surf ski race. Twenty fifteen saw a new chapter being written with the support of new sponsor FNB to complement the support that Varsity College has given the sport for the last five years. And each paddler at race one received a series rash vest from the both of them. Paddlers were greeted with perfectly flat southwesterly conditions. The southwesterly creating some calm water and small bumps to offer up some assistance. This making for very tight racing and certainly making paddlers work for it today. The ladies' competition has seen some fierce racing in the recent years and some new faces looking to make a name as Kaita Purchase was challenging Michelle Byrne and Jenna Ward early on. The men's race saw series stalwarts Matt Bowman and Hank McGregor at it again, eager to break the stranglehold of their 2014 season tie with five wins each. Hank having a stormer of a race, coming out the blocks with an unrivaled intensity and edges ahead on the second lap, taking his first win of the season. Yeah, we're all together at the first turn mark and um, 
in the downwind leg, uh, I just managed to push the pace and uh, Matthew came off a little bit and then I stretched him into the wind and yeah, I got a substantial gap and I just held it to the end. So. To start off with the wind's always good, Matt's always strong right throughout, so it's going to be a, a, a close, close series again, so I'm just uh, lucky I drew first blood. Uh, he's also in great form, so yeah, it's just going to be a good tussle for the season. The ladies saw some standout performances with junior paddlers Kaita Purchase challenging hard for the lead. But clearly Ward was reveling in the conditions. I love these conditions. We had in the wind, um, catching the runs. Mm. So it was hard, but feeling strong made it much better and more fun. Yeah. So when there is surf, it can be anyone's game. Yeah. Haley came third, I think, and she's just as strong. So it's all about your start and you just have to race as hard as you can. What a great way to start the series with a really tight race. And uh, looking forward to another nine races in the series with uh, six races to count towards the overall series positions. Join us next week for race two of the Varsity College FMB Sersky series. So race one had set the scene for the series and with nine left on the calendar, it was certainly going to be a long hot summer. Durban is often labelled as the home of surf ski. With its rich history and multiple world champions, it's great to see a series like this finding its place in the sport. The surf ski paddling movement to Durban is uh, quite profound in terms of world paddling. We definitely have the biggest races in the world. It shows by the, not just the amount of people we have, but the competition each week shows in the top paddlers that come and do the races. They get these awesome showcases to uh, develop skills, and uh, develop into some of the best surf ski paddlers in the world and uh, the depth in some of the fields we have in our local races uh, rivals anywhere in the world. FNB is very excited to be involved. I think we try and support events where the focus is on, on a healthy lifestyle uh, that's outdoors, it's promoting clean environment and, and brings in the family uh, as a family event and I think that's what Barry's Marine Series offers for us. Durban is the hub for paddling. I mean, you'll get on a Friday night, you can get up to 400 people coming down to the Marine Series. And that, that makes for exciting racing. You, you don't get the opportunity to race against uh, world marathon champs like Hank McGregor, surf ski champs like Matthew Bowman, um, and ex-Springbok paddlers like Barry Lewin, etc. on a weekly basis in, in your backyard. For me, I got involved in paddling about 10 years ago. It's just the simplicity of paddling and being out in the ocean that attracts us. And you find that it's like-minded people in the paddling fraternity that makes it such an awesome vibe to be a part of. We have up to 375 and 400 people coming to some of the races, which is awesome for Suski paddling. It showcases Durban as a paddling destination around the world. And there's no better place to paddle than in Durban. And it really showcases through these Friday night events and getting out and having fun to start off the weekend. With race two being cancelled for safety reasons, the third race in the series offered up beautiful ocean conditions, with a light northeasterly creating a large shore break and posing a massive challenge proving that Durban is certainly not for sissies. Race tonight is the Ball and Sierski Challenge, presented by Merritt. We've got some interesting conditions with an onshore northeasterly wind. Makes super, super fun paddling for the guys that know what they're doing on catching runs and a bit of bumpy, miss from left and right are really, really dynamic and, and uh, super fun. We're at a backline start, uh, just gives everyone time to get to the surf nice and safely, uh, makes us the racing very fair. A lot of action here on a Friday night to start off the weekend at the Varsity College F&B Surfski Series. Organisers decided on a deep water start and paddlers jumped at the opportunity.
With the absence of Hank McGregor, Matt Bowman seized the opportunity with both hands and simply dominated, grabbing some valuable points and taking the lead in the overall series standings. This race also saw the new challenger emerge in Wade Cricker, Wade proving he is not just a lifesaver as he took his second podium and second in the series. In the ladies, it was no surprise to see the emerging talent of Kaita Purchase take her first senior win in a surf ski race. The 16-year-old from Lee McGregor's Mac squad has consistently climbed the leaderboard and it was simply a matter of time before she took her first win. Angry Friday afternoon in Durban. Looks a little tamer than it actually is. Can was a nice different angle to what we've seen in the past and uh, that angle sort of opened up on the way back. We had a very competitive field here for the Paul Mseski Challenge presented by Merit. Uh, Matthew Bowman ran away with the singles uh, title for this evening's race uh, with Way Krieger in second. Uh, some great skills were shown in the surf and out in the open ocean catching some of those awesome onshore runs coming back into the finish here at Marine Surf Life Sailing Club. Oh, the runs were fun, eh? they were very nice. Glad some of my friends were gone for the weekend, made it a little bit easier. In the ladies category, uh, we had a first time winner in the series today in Kaita Purchase. She's still a junior competitor at 16 years old. An amazing performance from this young lady coming through the ranks of the Varsity College FNB schools uh, series that we've run over the last couple of years. Um, it's great to see these uh, kids really taking on some of the senior competitors and it shows some of the training that she's been doing in the off season with Lee McGregor and the Max squad paying off here for a first win ever in a surf ski race. Almost halfway through the series, and with summer in full swing, the Beastly Easterly was in town. But that didn't mean anything to the 150 dedicated paddlers that stood on the line for race four. These conditions are honestly what every paddler hopes for, and although the shore break offered up some resistance, the runs out the back were definitely worth it. The men's race saw the usual suspects at it again, and it was stroke for stroke as Bowman and Cricker picked up where they had left off the previous week. The 2015 ladies title race was setting up for a titanic battle, with the top three ladies, Purchase, Byrne and Ward shoulder to shoulder for almost the whole race. And the runs were simply awesome.
In the end, Bowman made it two for two, showing his sheer class in the runs and stormed ahead in the series ratings, leaving Wade Kricher and Barry Lund filling the rest of the podium. The Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series is now one of the oldest running paddle series around, with over 20 years of history in the series and a huge contribution to both the community as well as paddling development in South Africa. We caught up with Carol Adam to find out how paddling is shaping young lives at Varsity College. It doesn't get better being down on a Friday night at the Marine Series. The vibe is awesome. It's great to be able to kind of come down and even if you're a novice paddler, get on the surf while your kids are on the jumping castle and you can also get great food at the canteen. It's really awesome to come down, experience the surf and get involved. The series is a really good start for us at Varsity College because it's the beginning of the year. The students are keen to get involved in lots of activities. So what we do is that we have a student activation on two of the races. And so the students come down on a Friday afternoon, come and see what the, the sport's about. It's a really nice environment down there and hopefully try their, try their luck at surf ski and then come down and enjoy getting involved in surf ski week in and week out. At Varsity College we have a sports life initiative. It's all about being healthy, fun, living life to the fullest and also about getting involved in sports that you can do for the rest of your life and that's what's so awesome about surf ski. Surf ski you can do when you're at high school all the way through to who knows however long you can stay on the surf ski but it's really nice to be able to be involved in something that's very lifestyle driven um, and for Varsity College about showing our students it's about balancing your studies it's like when you're working, balancing your work and your studies and getting outside and getting involved in a, in a sport that's exciting and outdoors. The halfway mark in the series and race 5 would offer a reprieve from the challenge of the previous week's conditions with a southwesterly wind creating an amazing smooth ocean and incredible racing. We're down at Marine Surf Life Saving Club on the Durban Beachfront for the fifth race of the Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series. Tonight is the Bay Union Surf Ski Challenge, some super cool conditions for surf ski paddling. This week saw the return of Hank McGregor, back from his SA K1 duties and eager to get back into the hunt for the title. So the southwest here in Durban flattens conditions out quite a lot. A lot of the course is in the protection of the Durban Bay, which makes it super friendly for anyone that comes down and paddles. But the top guys are after those uh, serious positions. Racing in these flatter conditions becomes really close, really tight, uh, super technical. 
been working on my starts quite uh, quite a bit lately and just trying to get the speed work up. Managed to get an early lead and just capitalise on that. And it was great downwind legs. I think uh, a lot of people were quite surprised how big the runs were. As predicted, the racing was fierce in the men's, with McGregor getting away early and making the others work for every metre gain. But Bowman was having none of that, fighting tooth and nail the whole way, and the paddlers were enjoying some of the best runs of the season so far. McGregor held out in the end for the win, helping him to square up the series with Bowman and two wins apiece. I tried to break the guys quite early and um, my tactics seemed to pay dividend on the, on the downwind leg. I could relax, capitalise on into the wind, into the hard grind stuff. I still had a lot of, uh, lot of energy in the tank. The ladies' race was showing signs of a comeback from one of its stalwarts, and Michelle Byrne was looking very strong, hammering out the two laps alongside Jenna Ward. In the end, Jenna edged out Michelle for the win, but Michelle Byrne sending some serious warnings that she is back. What amazing conditions we've had tonight with a light uh, southerly wind, uh, lots of little bumps to catch, and a great performance by defending series champion Hank Grigger. Really happy with the win, and just say it's still early days in the series. I'm, I'm looking forward to the next couple of races. I think, especially this year, the ladies' field has improved. They're all so strong, you could, anyone could actually take the race. I think it's just about how good you're feeling on the day. Oh, what an awesome way to start the weekend with uh, some really, really cool runs and an awesome hit out on a Friday night. So halfway through the series and what a tight battle so far. Two specific winners in the men's sees Hank McGregor and Matt Bowman tied on two wins each, with Wade Krieger hanging on to third. The next five races will certainly be exciting and it's anyone's game as we enter the final stretch. The ladies has seen some of the toughest and tightest races the series has ever seen. Michelle Byrne, Jenna Ward and Kaita Purchase have gone head to head in a number of the races. Ward taking three wins and purchase one, but look out for Michelle Byrne who is clearly on the comeback trail. So five races to go and a multitude of possibilities. Join us next time for the series climax of the Varsity College FNB Surfski Series. The Varsity College FNB Surf Ski Series is proudly presented by Varsity College and First National Bank.